What if we wanted to apply different properties to our JavaScript files and different properties to our CSS files? Well, let's look at a basic example of selecting specific files with, uh, with patterns and applying these properties. So patterns are wrapped in square brackets. We use the asterisk before just to target everything. But now I'm going to create a selector that targets just JavaScript and just CSS separately. So I'm going to first of all create a selector for everything and I'm going to define some basic rules. So we could say char set UTF-8. We could say insert final new line to true. And we could say trim trailing white space and set that to true as well. Now, however, I want to target things in the JavaScript directory and I want to target everything with a JavaScript extension. Now, bear in mind, this won't target everything with a JavaScript extension outside of the JS directory. In that case, you'd just leave this blank. Now, there are obviously other selectors you can use. There are more advanced selectors, but generally for a project, all files, you know, probably should remain the same, but you can target things as you need. And it's good to know that these filters or patterns rather are there anyway. So I'm going to set the indent size to two here, and I'm going to set the indent style to a space. But if I wanted to say, change this for the CSS files or all CSS files in my CSS directory, I can do indent style equals tab, for example, or I could say indent style equals space, and I could do indent size is four. So like I said, there are patterns listed in the official website, so go and check them out if you need something more unique. Like I said, though, it's unlikely that you would ever really need to specifically fine tune how you want to target these different files. And many projects that use an editor config file just simply use the asterisk pattern.